Now, more local news for you tonight. Before we get back to our storm coverage, also happening tonight, the big vote. It's now official. JCPS is making a big change for next school year. The board approving that plan that will change the start times for many local schools. There are three start times, 7.30 a.m., 8.40 a.m., and 9.40 a.m. Under this plan, more than 80 schools will see their start times change, but there is a caveat in all this. The board wants a new plan presented by December. WHS 11 night teams, uh, Taylor Woods and our photojournalist Elijah McKenzie covered the meeting. Uh, Taylor, you have more on the plan. Absolutely, Doug. Tonight, the board agreed to go with scenario one for this school year. Then they plan to meet in December to discuss a different start time for the 2025 to 2026 school year. But ultimately, many elementary principals aren't too pleased that their schools now have to start later. The massive reduction or complete loss of our community partners. Several principals and administrators packed the Van Hoos Education Center as the JCPS school board voted for new school start times next year. Many of them took the podium, some in opposition to start at a later time of 940 a.m. We as elementary principals do not take this moment lightly. The last time slot is not ideal for anyone, but when thinking of our students and what is needed outside of the school day, we need to consider this as well. Superintendent Dr. Marty Polio says the change is necessary to help bus drivers. Right now, he says the district has about 540 bus drivers with 575 bus routes. The board had two scenarios to vote from, all with start times of 7.30 a.m., 8.40 a.m., and 9.40 a.m. Scenario 1 would change start times for more than 80 schools, while Scenario 2 would impact about 100 schools. You know, no easy answers, but once again, I will say what Chief Moore said. My challenge to operations was to get our kids to school on time. At first, board members couldn't come to an agreement with neither scenario getting the votes to pass. If it takes us as a board saying, look, we consent to this year to alleviate with, you know, option one and cause as least amount of wrong as possible, and then set a date. That's when the board agreed to a compromise, approving scenario one, but requiring the district to present a plan by December for the 25-26 school year. I will move that the board adopt option one for the start of the 24-25 school year with the additional caveat that the administration returned to us by no later than December the 1st. Four members voted for that plan. After the vote, Hazelwood Elementary Principal Courtney Grace said she was disappointed in the decision. You know, it's not what we stood for today as elementary school principals when we really looked at the research and we really came together as a collective group. Grace is concerned about before and after school programs for next school year because many families have already been waitlisted. We service the community and we will do what's best for kids because we need them in our building on time every day. And the district will take these next week's over summer break to work on routes to align with the new start time schedules. In studio, Taylor Woods, WHAS 1119 on your side. Taylor,